Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Trap. Today we're going to go over Harpoon 2. So if you've been following the Primogen, you know he's been making, he did a live stream on Harpoon. Good content. If you haven't seen it, try to track it down and watch it. What I'm going to show you is on the left hand side of my screen, you're going to see my original configuration from Harpoon. On the right hand side of my screen, we're going to see Harpoon 2 and some how I enabled Harpoon 2 to actually work with telescope. So here we go. Uh, so on the, on the left, we're going to see that we're going to focus primarily on the key bindings because that's where the code changes are made. So these are breaking changes. Not, not to worry, they're easy changes to make. I am using Lazy NVim as my package manager and I'm using Lazy Vim plugins. So my specifications are compliant with Lazy NVim. So I simply return the plugin that I want to use and I enable it, yes or no. In this case, I said I want Harpoon to be enabled. Fold it up, take a look at the next function. So this function, we're going to define the keystrokes that Harpoon is going to use. So note that we are using on line four and line three, we're using Harpoon and the mark or Harpoon and the UI. So down in the, in the alt one through four, which navigates to the buffer using the UI nav file, that line of code is going to change. And we'll see what that code change looks like on the right hand side of my screen. You're seeing that on lines 13 and 14 down below that the ui.nav next and ui nav prev is being used to go to the harpoon next and previous buffer. So if I bring up the harpoon menu right now, I use my alt seven key to bring it up and I can navigate by doing alt one, two, three, and four and five, and that's going to back and forth. Okay, that's all that is doing for me. So if I wanna add a file, so if we just do a find file telescope, and bring that file up and I, I harpoon it and I bring the menu back up and I've just harpooned another file. Okay, that's consistent with Harpoon 1. No changes there. So this is an older copy of my code base. Now I'm going to show you what I'm currently doing to upgrade to Harpoon 2. So we navigate to the other buffer. We'll go ahead and open that up. You see that we're using Harpoon, still the Primogen. It's still enabled. The branch name is now Harpoon 2. The dependencies are different. So we're bringing in plenary and we're also bringing in telescope in vim i'm doing that because for two reasons harpoon does require plenary also if you want to use the telescope plugin you've got two choices you can do a bunch of configurations outside of the lazy vim spec or you can do them inside the lazy vim spec i've chosen to do them inside my lazy vim specifications so when I do that, I, I make sure that this particular plugin stands on its own. So I fully qualify all plugin names in the dependencies. So I'm not relying on that capability of LazyVim that it could technically find plenary.nvim because it's already been referenced once. But if I delete something or remove a plugin, I could end up in a situation where it breaks LazyVim's plugin management system. So I don't want that. I fully qualify. I make sure each plugin stands on its own and is in its own file. That's just a personal preference from me. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that same function. And you're going to see that we've got a local function that we've added at this point. But first, let's focus on lines three and four. Notice that we are requiring Harpoon on line three, but we're not making any relationship to the mark or to the UI API. We're now just relying on Harpoon itself and you're going to see some custom code changes that are different down below. On line six, we're going to see a telescope function that we're writing that allows us to hook into some telescope capabilities. And I'm going to demonstrate that in just a minute. If you've watched the Primogen's video, he shows you how this works. He gives you some rationale on why he did this. Um, all good content, by the way. So we're gonna hop down a couple lines, bring that to the top of the screen, and here we go, the same eight key bindings for me are the same, All one through eight are, are the same. The function that's being called is different. So notice in the on the right-hand side of my screen, I was doing ui.nav file. On the left-hand side of the file, I'm doing harpoon colon list select one. So that's that function part of what the function was executing. That is the piece of code that's actually changing. So you can see if you look at that from a column standpoint, there's not a lot of code changes for uh, the selecting of the buffer. Previous and next are very similar. It's just at, navigates off of that list function and then the nav function. If we look down at um, lines uh, on lines 11 and 13, I'm sorry, 
12 and 13 where we're doing the, the quick fix and the append, those lines are a little bit different. Again, nothing scary. The uh, API is just a little different. So we're looking at the, the changing the code that's between function and the end and you get your harpoon behavior. So to demonstrate that, we can just bring up our harpoon menu. So that works the way we'd expect. If we do the previous and next, you know, we're going, we're going between those buffers as fast as we want to, no surprise there. So the, the new item is Alt-9 for me. Now this is gonna bring in the telescope navigation of harpoon buffers. So if I bring up Alt-9, now I'm doing harpoon navigation, but I'm using telescope. So if I wanna do the fuzzy find, I can type the fuzzy find and I can do it that way. So you can see that from a harpoon standpoint, um, there's nothing complicated that's being changed. Um, nice work, Primogen, by the way. Um, but you can see the code change itself is not that complicated. So what I've done is I've configured my repository. It has, if you're a lazy Vim user and you use lazy and Vim, you can grab this file and drop it right in your, wherever you put your plugins, you could drop it right in and it should work for you without change. Obviously you're gonna wanna use different key bindings, but from a, from a, from a top-down standpoint, if we take a look at that file in its totality, there's not a lot in here. And uh, we can zoom in really quick and just take a look at that really big. You can see that this file is self-contained. Self so you've got the primogen information coming in. It's Harpoon 2. You've got the dependencies. No surprise there. If we close that up a little bit and then open this up, uh, let's do a ZV on that. You can see the function here again. And there's that telescope function. Copy paste that code right in. If you want to use telescope, all you need is what's on line 17 down to line 19. And now you've got telescope integration with Harpoon, or I should say Harpoon integration with telescope the other way around. Uh, and then if you want to use that integration with um, telescope, there's that function that you got to use. It's just simple. It's that simple. It's that easy. It's a nice upgrade to the, to the plugin. So if you're a Harpoon user, give this thing a try. It's really easy. It's a lot of fun to use. So you've got a couple different ways that you can use it now. If, if you want your telescope view, you got your telescope, which gives you the preview. So I've gone to full screen so you can see this. It's really kind of cool. So if you're saying, you know, I, I know I've got this Harpoon stuff out there. I just don't remember what the file is. Or I want to see it. If, if that works for you, if that helps you with your workflow, just bring that thing up. And just like you would expect in your NeoVim, you can navigate up and down in those things. And there you've got your buffers. You can preview them. You can select them just like you would expect from a telescope standpoint. So really nice upgrade, really easy to do. I hope this has helped you. My name is Trap. Have a great day, no matter where you are in the world. And may God bless you. I'm Trap. I'm out.